45. Basically going to extend this to yep. the east. By the way, that, that the reason we have this severe thunderstorm warning and the reason it's being extended is because earlier, especially when it was near New Melly, it was producing a signature on radar, some really strong winds. We have some video now of some damage out there. That is a tree that is uh, snapped, actually. Uh, and it actually, I can't tell, but it looks like maybe it was pushed a little bit, too. Um, and especially if you get some heavy rains, it's a little easier to push those uh, trees, the root system, uh, in a little more wet soil uh, can get pushed down a little bit. But clearly a snap tree in New Melly. I know the National Weather Service tends to tune in to us. I'm sure they're interested in that. So, again, that's New Melly, snap tree. And uh, that was one of the signature on radar was for some even a little more intense winds of what we're seeing on the signature now. Although that signature on radar just produced a 67 mile per hour gust at the Spirit of St. Louis Airport in Chesterfield Valley. So that section of the storm is what we have been focusing on. So while we have the big picture here, we want you to know that if you live in Farmington, Viburnum, if you're down around Potosi, we're watching this. There is nothing severe down here right now. If you're in Rolla, Sullivan, you're in the clear. If you're in Washington, Missouri, you're in the clear. Uh, Troy, Missouri, it's still raining. You still have lightning, but you're in the clear as far as the damaging wind. Uh, O'Fallon, Missouri, you're not in the clear. Uh, into Maryland Heights, you're not in the clear. This is the leading edge of where the threat for some severe winds would be. That comes down even into uh, Jefferson County. Festus, you're not in the clear yet. Very quickly, we're going to see some strong winds come your way. But if we're not mentioning your city when we refer to the strongest part of the storm system, that's a good thing. Just keep that in mind. Let's put those uh, warnings back on and give them an idea of... Uh, the extension here, because it does go into Madison County and yeah. St. Clair County as well. It's, not, it's just not coming into the system at this okay. point. We don't have it updated here. That's the latest boxes there. I'm going to draw it for you. Yeah. Know exactly where it is. That'd be great. <clears throat> just to give folks a heads up. So, in fact, here I'll use yellow. We're going to go. Uh, if you are in Edwardsville, it doesn't quite come to you. It does include Granite City, uh, it does include Cahokia and Oakville. And then it cuts near and just uh, north of Arnold. So that is the new severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, and that is because of the section of the storm right here that has that potential for some uh, real strong damaging winds. Uh, if I take a look at some of the heaviest rain out of this, Maryland Heights to Creve Coeur, I mean, you're just getting pounded. There's probably some hail in there. Uh, Ladue, you're about to see the intensity of that rain pick up as well. Uh, Richmond Heights, Maplewood, Webster Groves, it's light now, but that rain's going to intensify. And on the left-hand side of your screen, you see how that rain uh, does look when it's really heavy. At 6440 in Mason, I mean, it's uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and it looks like it's nighttime. You also notice all the string of headlights. I mean, rush hour is not 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The reason you're seeing that, wisely, these people are slowing down on the roads so they don't hydroplane. It's probably very hard to see out ahead. Uh, because the uh, rain reduces visibility. This is what it looks like ahead of the storm, though. And I believe we're at our uh, sky cam from the airport, guys. And, yeah, and it uh, looks like uh, Hazelwood and the airport are about to get hit on the left-hand side of your screen. You just saw a lightning flash. That's the storm approaching. So it will be there in uh, a matter of minutes with some of that heavy rain. But this storm continues to trek farther to the east with a potential of 70-plus mile-per-hour winds. We had 67-mile-an-hour gusts reported out in uh, Spirit of St. Louis Airport. I just put a storm track on there for you uh, across St. Louis Hills in four minutes, Central West End in eight minutes, on into East St. Louis in 16 minutes, Granite City in 20 minutes, and Belleville, Illinois in 26 minutes. It's a closer look there at the northern end of that storm. And I, at this point, you know, anywhere along the leading edge, there's no one spot. Earlier it looked like, hey, it was just one particular spot that coming through New Melly, we showed you that tree that was snapped. I'm not seeing any one particular spot over another that has the potential for the worst winds. Uh, anywhere from St. Charles City to Overland to Clayton uh, to Afton, Lee May, Melville, um, which is what meteorologist Megan Danahe is tracking right here, uh, and I, even down through Jefferson County. So new track for you. Hey, we're staying on the air because we know this storm has a history of producing damage. We know it clocked in at 67 miles per hour coming through Chesterfield. So it's not just that it's rain or lightning. We get that a lot. It's the damage threat. That's why we're going to be here for you. We'll stay on the air as long as this uh, continues with that kind of higher end 70 plus mile per hour uh, damage threat. Uh, that is Interstate 64 on the left hand side of your screen from MoDOT. Again, you're seeing the slowing down of the, uh, of the cars with the headlights on when the heavy, heavy rain hits. And you see some of those deep reds. I mean, it doesn't take a degree in meteorology to figure out that is an absolute downpour. And if you've stepped outside today, you know not only is it warm, but it's humid. That humidity, that's moisture in the air 
that's being used to generate the storms and then poured down in the ground. So there's a lot of humidity that's fueling some of that heavy rain. So the hydroplaning is a potential. Short-term flooding is a potential. We don't have any urban and small stream floods. We don't have any flash floods. This is moving relatively quickly enough that I don't think that's going to be a big issue. But you still may come across a low spot here or there, especially in urban environments that get flooded briefly. That's the airport cam with the storm approaching from the left there, and it's coming from west to east. This is the hail tracker anywhere along that line. In fact, I think this does a great job. This is a nice tool that just highlights where the strongest storms are. So regardless of the main threat is hail or wind, we know that is the main squall line threat. And we don't have any severe thunderstorm warnings here. If you're in Belgrade to Farmington, Park Hills, Bonterre, even down to Ellington, Ironton, we're watching this for you, trust me. But if we're not mentioning you because there's no severe thunderstorm warnings down there, that's a really good thing. There still may be some hail. Notice that one in central Washington County looks like it's stout, but it doesn't have a, a severe thunderstorm warning on it at the moment. Let's put those warnings back on, Meg. Yep. So you can get an idea of uh, exactly where they are. And there's one, it just, it, won't, it just doesn't want to show up. But there is one that includes the city and goes right over to Granite City in Cahokia. So we know that. We're going to continue to track it. Whether there's a box on it or not doesn't matter. We know what we're doing, and we're going to continue to track that specific part of the storm so that you're going to stay ahead of it. So let's zoom in on that specific part yep. of the storm. From Looks like if you're in St. Charles City, the worst of it's probably hitting right now. Mm -hmm. And then notice how it bows out. That's why I said there's not one spot over another that I can see that has the strongest winds, but that bowing is a signature of strong winds. What's happening here is the winds are really strong right through here, and it's pushing the rain outwards. So that's why when you see the radar, you have this kind of bow shape because the really strong winds are pushing the rain outwards really fast, faster than the areas a little farther to the north, a little farther to the south. And that would be the signature for the straight-line winds. So... Where the damage would be, would be right along the leading edge here from Arnold, Melville, uh, probably into Webster Groves coming into Maplewood now, coming into Overland. Uh, Maryland Heights still very much on that leading edge, U City, and then moving to the east. So if you're in St. Louis Hills, we mentioned you maybe, it might, might have been 50 minutes ago, we've been on the air, just trying to keep you ahead of the storm. Well, now it's arriving. Hopefully this comes through with 40 to 60 mile an hour winds, which are below severe. But there's that potential, like we saw from the Chesterfield Airport, Spirit of St. Louis Airport, that this clocks up around 67 miles per hour. Uh, meteorologist Megan Danahe is in touch with the National Weather Service and our instant message and checking in on any kind of new reports. The fact that she hasn't interrupted me is a really good thing. <laughs> it means we don't have any new reports. Is yeah. that the case? You know, we showed the hail tracker, which is a great tool, but that's not big hail in there, Steve. It's not severe hail. The hail that we're really looking at right now is penny to dimes, maybe some nickel size hail. I've only gotten a quarter report out of, actually that's out of Eureka. Yep, got a quarter size hail report there and then so far the winds have been, well, behaving kind of. They're not uh, being reported uh, any higher than that 67 miles per hour that we got out of Spirit of St. Louis Airport. Well, that's good. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, that's good. The, the bad news is it's still showing signatures of at least that potential and you know you get one little uh, portion of the storm where uh, a downburst of wind hits the ground and causes uh, a gust, and y you can have some, some damage, and uh, worse, people could get hurt. On the left-hand side of the screen is another one of our uh, MoDOT cameras, uh, this one from uh, Dorset. And uh, there's going to be a lot of people that are hitting the roads in the metro that are going to have to just slow down. This is uh, Limburg right here, and this is 270. I mean, that's probably the worst of it, just getting drenched. And uh, in the inner belt from uh, 170s, just probably picking it up at around Richmond Heights. It's and that's going to move into uh, Forest Park in the central West End very shortly and then eventually into downtown. Uh, again, you see that kind of curvature there. Not every time you see a curvature doesn't mean that you have strong winds. But in the situation we're in right now, we know that that is uh, kind of a signature that the winds are pushing some of that rain out a little bit and likely some gusts at least 40 miles an hour. We know we've had a lot of reports of 40, 50 mile per hour uh, winds. When you get up around 58 miles per hour or greater, that's when you get into the damage threat. And of course, we had that 67 from uh, Spirit of St. Louis Airport. Left-hand side of the screen is a storm mode Silverado. Uh, that is News 4's Russell Kinsall, and he's headed towards uh, Weldon Spring. Remember, I told him to kind of get off and stay put a little bit. What I didn't want, you back out a little bit here for me, Meg. 
What I didn't want was him to drive into what this part of the storm when he was over here. So I didn't want him to come from behind blindly driving into some really strong winds. So now he's in an area where there's going to be some heavy rain, maybe some pea sized hail, but he's in a much safer spot. And if there is any damage out there, we'll let you know about it. The only spot that I've heard damage is New Melly with that 